Hi guys, it's Greg here. Today we're gonna to take a drive in South Africa's most talked about recently launched motor vehicle, the Suzuki Frox. All right, first things first, when you get into the car, you can take your cell phone out, put it into wireless charging for Apple and for Android. And if it's Apple, it'll also have wireless Apple CarPlay. So we're on our way from the home of happy customers, Suzuki Ravonia, 6.9 kilometers to the home of happy customers, Suzuki Kyalami. First thing we're going to do is get into reverse and show you this wonderful 360 degree camera. As I go into reverse, you can see it's got a nice bird's eye view of where we're parked between the two lines. It shows the fence in front of me, uh, it shows the reverse camera as well. It also has reverse park sensor standard as well. What you'll get in the GLX top of the range model that doesn't come standard in the GL model are things like the six airbags versus two. You've also got the bigger nine inch touchscreen radio which has got the 360 degree camera the GL will just have the seven inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto still the wireless charging also comes standard on the GLX model and then there's a number of various aesthetical differences interior and exterior that make a difference and the last thing also is your heads up display so it's a nice little feature in front of the steering wheel that allows you to see all the uh, fuel consumption and the range numbers and while you're looking at the road so you don't take your, your eyes off of the road while you're looking at all of that. Standard on both the GL and the GLX comes with a leather covered steering wheel with controls on the steering wheel for your radio as well as controls for cruise control standard also has the controls to answer your, your phone Bluetooth wise. The range comes transmission wise with the five speed manual gearbox on the GL and the GLX and then a four speed with overdrive traditional automatic gearbox on the GLX. That overdrive is essentially like an extra gear, it saves you a lot of fuel on your long distance trips on the highway. On both spec levels, it also comes standard with the digital climate control aircon which comes very handy in, in the hot months like we're getting into now. So the name Franx is a bit of an unusual one, but there's a story behind it. Uh, what it stands for essentially is that it's Suzuki's new frontier, and that's the F-R-O-N, as well as it's a crossover. So that's where your Fron plus X becomes Franx. It's actually a crossover coupe SUV type of vehicle, which is part of what we're saying. It's a new frontier. It's a new kind of design era for Suzuki. Since the car has been launched, there's been an extreme high amount of interest in the vehicle. I think a lot of it's got to do with its new SUV coupe kind of design. Okay, drive wise, we've got the tried and trusted 1.5 naturally aspirated petrol engine which is on a lot of our other models. Uh, together with the design of the car and the weight, it's just a touch over a ton. Its power to weight ratio is really nice. It's got great space and uh, your boot is, is a decent size. What's really nice though is that it's high off the ground and that's part of the reason why we call it a crossover. Here we are, back at the home of happy customers, Suzuki Kaya Long. Thanks for joining us on the drive from Suzuki Ravonia to Suzuki Kyalami. Please come through and have a visit and see what all the fuss is about. We always have an automatic and a manual demo at Suzuki Ravonia and at Suzuki Kyalami so that you can get a good feel for the car. Pricing on the new Suzuki Franx starts on the GL manual at $279,900. An absolutely incredible launch price and it goes up to the top of the range GLX automatic at 335 900 stock isn't the easiest at the moment but we do take orders and we do have some stock available so don't miss out on it and don't delay come through have a cup of coffee with us and let's see whether the Franks is the right car for you <laughs>